What is up guys, this is Raul News here, and today, as you read in the title, I'm going to be bringing you 15 of my top most favorite uh, city tweaks. And basically, these aren't going to be the average tweaks that everyone goes over, such as Activator or Byte SMS or just, you know, the general tweaks that everyone goes over all the time in their videos. These are going to be my personal favorite, and these tweaks will improve your device so much while making it look so much cooler. So let's get right into it. Let's go into settings and the first one we are going to have is audio recorder. Now basically what audio recorder does, it, it um, records your phone calls. Simple as that. So if you're uh, having a conversation with a friend and later on you want to look back onto that call and you know have a good laugh or just relive some information. Um, this records your phone calls and you can just play it back just as, as it was basically. Uh, I apologize for some stuttering too. <laughs> Anyways, when you download it, uh, there will say play warning audio message. Just uh, turn that off and play bleep sound. Turn that off as well. And then you'll be set to go. Every time you call someone, it will record. To manage your callings, just go over to the app and it'll be all incoming and outgoing calls. And they'll just be stored right here. Next week we're going to have is Barrel. Now, y'all know what Barrel does. It gives a cool design or a cool um, motion to your ads when you slide. Now, apparently, obviously, uh, you know, my home screen is different. I'll go over that tweak here in uh, a couple tweaks later. But um, that's basically what it does. Everyone always does. If you don't and you're a beginner, basically, when you slide your um, pages, it will give your apps the cool effect of like say they do twists and turns and just to get to the other side of the page it's really cool and I recommend downloading it by the way these tweaks are in no particular order so I don't think this is number one to 15 or 15 to number one <laughs> uh, next week we have is color bar color bar as you can see it's not activated right now but what it basically does is you can enable it and at the top where everything that is black you can change the color of that and the foreground color as well. So my uh, background color is clear, as you can see it's white. And if I was to go into lock screen or anything like that, it would become red. But you can change it to a variety of colors such as black, blue, we can read obviously. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool tweak and I also recommend downloading it. Next tweak we have is Flux. Flux is amazing. Basically, everyone goes on their phone at night, and you don't want to turn the brightness down because you can't see what you're looking at, and if you turn the brightness up, it'll hurt your eyes. Flux is the perfect solution for that. It gives your uh, iPhone an orange tint, in a way, and basically, it doesn't harm your eyes, and it just gives it calming, warm colors effect so that your bright blue screen doesn't seem so bad. And it's just really helpful at all, or it's really helpful. <laughs> uh, in the nighttime, it will transition, as you can see, long tran uh, transition, um, when it turns nighttime. And then when it turns daytime, it will go back to the regular iOS screen. So you don't have to worry about, you know, going into there and clicking it every time it comes night or day. It's really helpful, and download it. Next one we have is Forecast. Forecast is amazing, like all the rest of the tweaks I've been saying. <laughs> Basically, um, what it does is it gives you a live preview of what, of what it's like outside. The weather, if it's storming on your lock screen or home screen, it will be storming. And it's a live wallpaper, basically. And it's so cool. So just basically just go down here in the settings and uh, make sure these are all on. Uh, it's only on my lock screen because my home screen is a different effect, but I'll get to that later. And basically what you want to do is uh, the update button. If you want to update it every 12 hours, 6 hours, 3 hours. I have mine set to uh, the hours default, which is every 5 minutes. Uh, but you can also have it set to every minute, if you prefer that. And it just gives you a live uh, forecast of what's outside. Uh, really cool tweet, guys. Next one we have here is IQV2. Basically what this does is give you more options to customize your keyboard. It does not add colors. But what it does do, I'll show you real quick with my notes, it uh, gives you the option to change your keys. Now, I know that doesn't sound like much, but you can add another um, 
basically just another a uh, uh row. That's what I was saying. Um, as you can see, my numbers are on top now, and uh, with my normal keyboard. And you can just customize that to whatever you like, and it has a whole bunch of different options. I recommend you check that out and download it. It's really, really useful. Next tweak we have here is in case of. Now, a case of what it does basically it adds a button to your lock screen. Um, but first, you have to put a passcode on. So those of you that don't have a passcode, I recommend putting a passcode on for this to work. But what it does is it uh, it's a button that you press, and if you know you're injured or you need help. Just tell someone to click that button and it has all your information, where you live, what's your birthday, what blood type you are, obviously put that in uh, manually, and if you have emergency contact, uh, call, and uh, it's very, very helpful in emergency situations, and that's why I have it. Next week we're going to be going over is message customizer. Now I'm actually not going to go into my messages, obviously, for uh, privacy reasons, but and it's, anyway. Uh, what this basically does is it changes the colors of your messages. So instead of the white background with the blue iMessage bubbles with the black text, you can customize what you want those to be. So I have mine set to like red and uh, iMessage bubbles will be blue and the text will be orange and it will just be all this other kind of stuff. And it's really, really cool. I recommend you check that out and it just makes your device look a whole lot better. Next tweak we have here is next gen UI. Now, as you see, my home screen it looks amazing. <laughs> um, basically, it adds it takes away your default home screen and puts this in, and it's like a 3D world that you just scroll around and you click this giant button in the middle and you can you know just swipe through all your apps. And if you want, you can add apps just by tapping and holding, and it'll click app and then click app. Click the app you want to put there, and I'll put it right there. Just by pinching and squeezing, you can uh, reassign or uh, shrink it and maximize it, and then hold it to modify, move, delete, toggle flag, and cancel. Move it right here, wherever you want. I put mine in a big circle just because it looks amazing. And yeah, that is Next Gen UI. And I prefer downloading it, but make sure all your other tweaks are off as it will interfere with them or at least most of them so you might have to have those off before you can actually download this it's really really cool guys and I recommend downloading it like all the others obviously <laughs> uh, next week we have here is power tap a power tap does it when you hold in the uh, power button on top you get the slide to fire off well if you tap the uh, button where you get the slide this button right here just tap it you can slide to reboot, tap it again, slide to respring, tap it again, slide for safe mode, and tap again, slide to power off. Very, very useful, and I recommend you guys download this because it is amazing. Next uh, tweak we are going to go over is record my screen. Now, obviously, you, most of you guys know what this is, um, and I'm using it right now. It records your screen. That's simple, uh, self-explanatory. Um, you just download it and then go into the uh, settings app like this and manage recordings and here's all your recordings are stored and you can go to activation methods with activator and you can assign it how you want to uh, how you want it to record mine uh, is both press the home buttons or not the home buttons the uh, volume buttons and you just both press those and it will uh, start recording it's really really useful guys and just just download it amazing Next week we have here is Spring to My Story. I do not have it enabled right now, and I will not enable it because I think it interferes with the next gen UI. So I'm just not going to get into that. But basically, what Spring to My Story does, it adds a whole lot of features. It just, it's like all the features that you can ever imagine, all in one little tweak, and it's amazing. It, uh, it really has everything. I recommend you check this out and just go into full detail about this and just look at every feature that it has because it has a lot. It's really cool, guys, and download it. Um, next one we have here is Status Bar Weather 7. Now, as you can see at the top, it is 928 right now, and you can see a little moon with a cloud over it. 
and basically that gives just like forecast a live weather update um but on the top of your status bar so instead if you don't want to change your home screen to the live weather forecast you can add a little uh, symbol and it will tell you the temperature and what it's like outside you can enable it and you can change the uh, temperature unit from celsius to fahrenheit weather interval up to i think it's an hour up to an hour yep mine's set to five minutes and you can replace your carrier logo but you will have to respring when enabling all this stuff and that will uh, take it into effect all right next one we have here is tap to unlocked or tap to unlock <laughs> um, basically what this does is at your home screen instead of the slide to unlock and you have to slide it you tap it mine is set to tap twice and then hide chevron and basically you can have a lot of customizations with this and you can have fun with it I don't usually mess around with these things I don't know really what they are I mean they must be cool or something like that but still I just don't mess with that um, but basically you just double tap when you press the home button and your lock screen pops up double tap and it'll unlock your phone instead of the normal iOS default slide to unlock next one we have here is Zeppelin Zeppelin most of you of course already know what that is but if you don't it, um, you see the little Batman signal um, or a symbol up on the top left corner well basically that's what Zeppelin is it just gives you a cool little logo up on the top left corner and a lot of people like it just because you know you can customize um, with all these different themes uh, there are packages which add a lot more themes to this and uh, yeah download it it's amazing I have no idea if that was 15 tweaks or not but I'm gonna end this video because all the rest are boring uh, like this video if you enjoyed guys please subscribe to my channel I just got back from like a huge vacation and we're moving and it's all this different stuff um, but please like comment and subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching see you guys